Hello again, friends. Here's another Friday Sudoku puzzle. If you want to learn how to solve even complex Sudoku puzzles without pencil marks, you've come to the right place. All of the videos on this channel show you how to solve without marking candidates. You can learn more about these techniques and patterns on sudokuprimer.com. You can also find lots of other Sudoku information out there, like Sudoku history. Uh, you can even create your own Wordoku puzzles out there. This is puzzle number 100 from Sudoku to Go, volume 90. Two things about this puzzle. First, we use identical twins, a technique that I came up with. I'll show you an example of identical twins and show you how you can find a number using it. And second, at the end of this solve, we have a whole series of numbers that we can solve very quickly. I'm sure you've seen this before. So watch how that plays out as we get to the end. All right, well, first of all, we'll put some easy numbers in. Five, so that's five right there. Five, five, five there. So that's five. Six there, six there. There's six here, six here. So these are ghost sixes. So six ghost sixes, six, six. So that's a six right there. This one's real easy. All right, now we got a nine here, nine here. Nine there. Nine, nine right there. Nine's there, nine there, so that's a nine. Nine and nine there, so that's a nine. All right, now I'm going to show you that this number right here is an eight. Let me show you how I know that. We use uh, unique rectangles. First of all, we'll find a set of twins right here. There's a one and an eight in this row right here. There's a one here, and ghost one's here because of that one. The ghost one, so one. Ghost ones. And there's a one in the middle row there, so one of these is a one. Then we've got an eight here, eight here, and eight there. So these are one-eight twins. Now using unique rectangles, we'll be able to find out, find that this is an eight here. We also have a one here and a one here, so one of these is a one. So we've got one eight twins, and one of these is a one. And using unique rectangles, we know that if these are one eight twins and one of these is a one, that neither of these can be an eight. So the only place an eight can go in this box is here or here, and there's an eight in this column already right here, so that is an eight. And now that we've put that 8 in, we can solve the 1, 8 twins that we've found, like that. All right. Now we've got 1, 1, 1 there, 1 there, 1, 1, 1 there. And one there. All right, we've got two and three missing here. We can't solve. All right, we've got a five here and a five here, so that's a five. Yeah, five, five, and five there, so that's a five.
All right, now we got a two there. Two and two, so that makes that a two. And one of these is a two, so that's a two there. And we can finish that box with the three. And with that three, we've got a loner cell right here. And we know that's a three because we got a five one nine and three six eight. There's a six and an eight, so that's a three. All right, now we're missing two and four there. Can't solve those yet. All right, we got a two here, two there. So one of these is a two. And we got an eight here, eight here, eight there. So that's an eight right there. And that makes that a two. All right, now we got an eight here, eight here. With this eight that we placed, we can put an eight there. All right, let's look at this column right here. Let's see what's missing here. Two, six, seven. Two, six, and seven. There's a two and a six, so that's a seven. That makes that six and two. There's a two there. Okay, so that's done. Now we've got a six here, six here, so that's a six. All right, now we, um, here I'm going to show you an, um, a set of identical twins. Now I talk about twins quite often, like these are two four twins right there. We had these one eight twins here. Identical twins are a little bit different. Look at this, this cell right here. Okay, it's, it's empty. And then look at this co column right here in relation to that cell. This cell right here is the only cell that is, n that is empty outside of this box, out of, outside of box one. And this is the only cell in box one outside of column two that's empty. You'll also notice that there's a one, two, and eight here in this column. One, two, and eight are already in this box. And then you got a five and a nine, and they're already in the box. So this cell right here and this cell have to be the same number. And that's what we call identical twins. Okay, now let's see if we can find out what number that is. Let's see what we're missing, or let's see what numbers this cell already sees. One, two. Okay, sees one, two. It doesn't see a three or a four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, that sees all but all the numbers but three and four. Let's look at this one and see how many, what numbers it sees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this cell sees three, four, and seven. But these two numbers have to be, or I'm sorry, it sees all numbers except for three, four, and seven. This one cannot see a 3 or a 4. This one can't see a 3, 4, or 7. Now, since these have to be identical, or the same number, hence I call them identical twins, this cannot be a 7 because this can't be a 7. There's already a 7 that, that this cell can see. So that has to be 3 or a 4, and that has to be a 3 or a 4. And now we've got um, a 7 here also. And so that is a 7 right there. And these are 3, 4 twins. Now in this case, there were other ways to find this 7. 
one notable way is there's a seven here in this row already, seven in this row already. But you will find situations where you have identical twins, like these these two cells right here, where you will not um, you'll you'll be able to find a number and put them in both cells. Put that number in both cells. So that's an example of identical twins. All right, let's continue on. I'm going to have a 7 here and a 7 here. Let's see, 7, 7. There's a 7 right there. All right, there's a 7 and a 7 there. So that's a 7. I got a 7 here, 7 here, 7 there. So that's a 7. And then we've got a 7 here, 7 here, 7 there. So that's a 7 right there. All right, now we've got a 2 here, 2 here. So that's a 2. And 2, 2, 2, 2. That's a 2. That makes that a 2 right there. And we can finish that with a 4 because the to complete that box. All right, and now we've got a six here and a six here, so that has to be a six. Six. So there's sixes here, so one of these is a six. There's a six there, so that's a six right there. All right, and now. Um, you may, I didn't point this out, but we were kind of collecting threes and fours, like these three fours here when we placed that seven. We got three, four here. At the end of this puzzle, all we've got is three, four twins in seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the only place we can solve one of those numbers is right here because of this column, it's almost, you know, it's only missing one number. There's a four there, so we can see that's a three. And now we can kind of chain reaction, go through the rest of the puzzle, and fill in the rest of the threes and fours. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, and four, and then we got these three and four here, three and four, and that's it. All right, well, uh, I'm sure you've seen a scenario like, this, um, like that before, where you only have two numbers left, and they're all over, like the three and four that were in this puzzle, and uh, Quite often you'll start noticing them, uh, and then all of a sudden you'll find one of them and you'll do the chain reaction like I just did and pretty much fill in the rest of the puzzle. Well, I hope you're learning on this channel, and uh, I wanted to ask if you would please comment and let me know what you like about this channel. And if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in a comment too. I'd like to hear your suggestions and your comments, and I love to read your comments. So, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next Friday.